MySQL is free and one of the most popular relational database management system. If you are learning SQL or working on MySQL database projects, you will require MySQL database server installed and running on your computer. Hi, my name is Pradhyan Kurnikam. I am a freelance web developer and Udemy instructor. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to download and install MySQL 8 database on Windows 11 operating system. Let's get started. Before we start the tutorial, I would like you to check out my this SQL course on Udemy. If you are learning SQL, I am sure this course would be helpful to you. The course link is in the description of this video. On your Windows 11 operating system, open web browser and enter mysql.com. This is the official website of MySQL 8 database. Click Downloads menu to open Downloads page. On Downloads page, scroll down and you will find this MySQL Community GPL download link. GPL means General Public License. As MySQL database is free to use, it comes with GPL license. Click the link to open MySQL Community downloads page. There are various MySQL products. But for MySQL Server installation, we only need MySQL Community Server Installer. Go ahead and click the link. On MySQL Community Server download page, at the time of recording of this video, the latest MySQL version is MySQL 8.0.28. If you find a new version, you can either download the latest available version or you can click this go to download page link. Click Archives. Select the product version you want. For operating system option, select Microsoft Windows and you will get the MSI download links for MySQL installer. You can download the one with large file size. Here in this tutorial, I will go with the latest release. So I will press back button to go to MySQL community downloads page. Under select operating system, make sure Microsoft Windows is selected. Here you can see there are two MSI installer files. The MSI means Microsoft Windows installer. It's a standard installer package for Windows operating system. From these two installers, the first one with small file size is MySQL downloader and installer package. While the second one with large file size contains all the files required for the installation. So download the one with large file size. Click download button. If you want, you can sign up for an Oracle web account. This is optional step. So I will skip the sign up window by clicking this. No thanks. Just start my download link and save the file to my computer. To save some time, I already have downloaded the file in my downloads folder. So I will cancel this download. and go to my downloads folder. Now let's start with MySQL installation. Double click the MySQL installer file. If you see a security warning like this, click yes button. Press Yes button to allow installer to install application on your computer. Now the MySQL installer has been started. The first step which is choosing a setup type. On this window there are 5 different setup types. Here you can select a setup type and in the description read more about a particular setup type. The developer default type will install all MySQL products for development. The products like MySQL Server, MySQL Shell, MySQL Router, MySQL Workbench and so on. The Server Only option will install only MySQL Server while Client Only option will install MySQL Client products used to connect to MySQL Server. The products like MySQL Shell, MySQL Router, MySQL Workbench and so on. The full install type will install all the products and feature available with this installer. 
We will select custom type of setup so that we can customize the products and the path for MySQL. Click next. Here on select products window, on the left side column, we have available products for the installation. Click the plus sign in front of MySQL servers under MySQL server and MySQL server 8.0. Select MySQL server 8.0.28. If you do not see MySQL server product here, then most probably the new version isn't available for your configuration yet. In that case, you will have to cancel this installation and download previous table release from the archives page I showed you earlier. Alright, once you selected the MySQL server here, make sure you click this green arrow button, which will include the selected software in the installation. Follow the same steps for applications, MySQL Workbench, MySQL Workbench 8.0, and MySQL Workbench 8.0.28 and click the right green arrow button. Similarly, if you want to exclude an application from the installation, select it from this right hand side window and click this left arrow and the application will not be installed. I will include the MySQL Workbench application once again and click the next button. Depending upon pre-installed softwares, you may or may not require to install other essential softwares. In my case, I need to install Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. I will select the application and click this execute button. Select I agree checkbox and click install button. And close the window. Once all required software installed successfully, click next button. Now the setup is ready to install the selected products that is MySQL Server 8.0.28 and MySQL Workbench 8.0.28. Click the execute button. It will take a couple of minutes or less to complete the installation. If both products install successfully, you will get the status here as complete. Click next. And now we are on product configuration window where we can set up MySQL port number, root user password and much more. Click next to start the configuration. On type and networking window under config type, the development computer uses minimum amount of memory. Server and dedicated computer options are mainly used for web servers. So select development computer option. Some applications or computers use IP address and port number to connect to remote host for data exchange. By default, MySQL database uses a port number 3306. In case you already have installed MySQL server on your computer, you will see a yellow mark over here. It means the port number 3306 is already in use. In that case, you can use a port number like 3307 or 3308. If you don't see a yellow mark, you can keep the default port number which is 3306. In my case, the port number 3306 is available. So I will keep the default value. All other options are fine. Click next. The new MySQL 8 version by default uses SHA-256 encryption method to encrypt and store database user passwords. Using SHA-256 encryption is more secure compared to the previous versions of MySQL. The use of legacy authentication method is suggested only if you want to make this installation compatible with MySQL 5 version. In our case, we don't need MySQL 5 compatibility. So I will use the latest password encryption method and click next. Please note this is very important step, so pay all your attention. Just like operating system installation, we create a new user or administrator who will be using that operating system. In case of MySQL, by default it creates a user called root user. The root user is an administrator and has all privileges of MySQL database. So we must use a very strong password. And most importantly, remember the password or note it down somewhere. In my case, I'll use a simple password. But in your case, make sure to use a combination of letters, numbers and special characters. You can add additional users from these following sections. 
We will learn more about adding new users and setting privileges in a separate tutorial. So I will cancel and click next. The windows services option creates a new windows service instance with the given name. Make sure the start the mysql server at system startup checkbox is checked so that mysql server starts automatically when your operating system is started. If you uncheck this option, every time when you have to use mysql server, you will have to manually start the mysql server from windows services. The default option for run windows service is fine. Click next. Now the installer is ready to apply the configuration settings we selected in previous steps. Click execute button to apply configuration settings. It will take a minute or less to apply the settings. Click finish button and click next. If you encounter any error message while installing MySQL server or applying configuration settings, you can ask me questions in the comment section of this video. Uncheck this start MySQL workbench after setup option and finally click this finish button to complete the installation process. Here we successfully completed the MySQL database server installation. Now let's open MySQL server to confirm if it works. Click start menu. Select all apps. MySQL and click this mysql 8.0 command line client option. Please note here you need to enter mysql database password you set up during installation. Enter the password. I will enter my root user password and press enter. If you see this mysql prompt then congratulations you are successfully logged in to your mysql database server. Here we can execute SQL statements. Let me execute a couple of SQL statements to confirm MySQL database is working fine. Type show databases semicolon and press enter. This SQL statement will list all databases in your MySQL database. Let's create a new database using create database PN tutorials semicolon. Here PN tutorials is the name of the database we are going to create. You can create a database name of your choice. Press enter. Again type show databases. Press enter. And sure enough our database was successfully created. Here we can confirm that our MySQL database was installed successfully and working without any issue. I will type exit and press enter to log out of root user account. Now let's open MySQL workbench to confirm if it's working. Click start menu. Select all apps. MySQL and this time click MySQL workbench 8.0 CE. On this welcome screen under MySQL connections, click this local instance MySQL 8.0 option. On the pop-up window, enter your root user password and click OK button. If you enter correct credentials, you would see this MySQL workbench window. In this query window, type show databases. And click this top execute button. And in the result area, you will see the list of databases which contains PN tutorials database we just created from MySQL command line client window. Here we can confirm that our MySQL workbench was installed successfully and working without any issue. We will learn more about MySQL workbench and its features in a separate tutorial. I will close the MySQL workbench window. If you are interested in learning SQL using MySQL database, then check out this my SQL course on Udemy. The course link is in the description of this video. Congratulations once again for completing this tutorial.
This video covered step by step MySQL 8 database installation on Windows 11 operating system. I hope you completely understood the MySQL installation steps given in this video tutorial. Now it's your time. Try the installation on your Windows 11 computer and let me know if the installation was successful. If you encounter installation errors or didn't understand something, you can ask me questions in the comment section of this video. If you like this tutorial, hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.